And today this video I'm doing a review on the Twilight Zone 2019 series, um, Season 1, Episode 3, Replay. So this is probably based off the, or kind of like the last episode of Nightmare at 30,000 feet where, um, the original was called Nightmare at 20,000 feet, but this one, that one's Nightmare at 30,000 feet. This is probably like the same thing, because it's like an original, uh, series episode, or maybe, not, I don't think it's original actually, maybe it's like 2003-2002 series episode. Um, uh, called replay, and apparently it's similar to this one. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And in the ending, though, with the, uh, with um, uh, the Mina or whatever, and and then the the little girl Trinity. Uh, it's kind of cool that she, run, run, her name is Trinity because the mom wanted her name to be Trinity. Um, but I wonder where the the dudes uh. Dorian's wife is, but yeah. Anyways, and then Dorian, and the ending there. Um, wh what was I even saying? Oh yeah, uh, when Jordan Peele when he was narrating, it's like blah 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 in the Twilight in the Twilight Zone, blah blah blah. Like the Twilight Zone, like narrators like Rod Serling and stuff, and like what the what the heck does it, that stuff even mean? Like they just have like. Like, like, it sounds cool, but it means, like, it makes literally zero sense. Uh, and you guys down below, if you're watching this comments, probably, like, oh, this guy's an idiot, he doesn't know what's going on, but maybe I'm an idiot, I don't know. I just don't really understand, but it's still kind of cool to hear. Um, anyway, so basically this episode, Mina, she has an old cam recorder, and she realizes that um, she can rewind time by pressing the rewind on the cam recorder and uh she does it multiple times because this cop keeps finding her and like putting them in, putting her and her son in bad situations uh and eventually attacking the son and killing and then one time even killing the son and that cop like he seriously he's trigger happy like he just goes and shoot story and immediately like he's trigger so trigger happy and just such a bad cop um but like he's played well by the actor and same with uh Mina she's played very well by the actress too so uh, I don't I don't know them from anywhere but yeah they're play they're play really well um so nothing bad to the actors but I hate the cop uh but the cop is supposed to be hated though uh which which makes sense um so yeah and then she presses replay over and over and over again until she eventually then tells her family um what's been going on and stuff and she meets she meets her brother, I think. She has two other brothers, but she explains that they died and stuff. I don't think Dorian ever got to meet see them. Uh, but this episode was didn't really seem like Twilight Zone episode. This episode could have really been just an episode in any series. It's kind of like, uh, not Black Power, but uh, it's not saying black people are better than anyone, but it's just like the rise of black people, kind of. Not the rise. Like, what is it? Like, it's... It's in a time where black people weren't as weren't seen as like as a as a real person, I guess. Uh, not as real as a white person would be. Uh, they still had their own college and stuff, and really that's the whole focus for Mia. She just wants her son to go to college because she didn't get to go to college, and uh, but the cop keeps stopping them and finding them, so not stalking them. And then they end with her speech and stuff to the cop with all the other cops. Uh, one, I wonder how those cops even heard about that situation in there because they came immediately. Um, and two, I thought when she was saying the speech, she was talking about her. Well, I guess she was kind of talking about herself. It's like, you killed us, you whatever it is, blah, blah, blah. But she's also talking about just like us and people that are black. Um, but she also kind of meant us, like my son and I. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of cool. This episode was pretty cool. Uh, I don't know, The Comedian is probably still my favorite episode, um, for original Twilight Zone fans, I'd say The Comedian hasn't been as, uh, as good, I'd say out of the three, it's the worst for original Twilight Zone fans, but I'm not an original Twilight Zone fan, and then Nightmare 30,000 Feet was more seen as an original Twilight Zone episode than The Comedian, 
But I say the comedian is the best out of the three. It's just in my opinion. But that's because I'm not a Twilight, the original Twilight Zone fan. This is like the first time I've been watching Twilight Zone series. Um, and Replay. I don't know which one's better. Nightmare at 3000 feet or Replay. I don't know. Steven Yeun's going to be in the next episode. That's kind of cool. I'm just going to read this last bit because I did see the Replay. I joined Peel as a narrator, but saying the series should be a step away from the original Atlantic. The Atlantic was more critical, comparing and favorably by, to the original series, staying with exception the one superior episode of replay. It's hard to conceive an artist as prodigious, prodigious, uh, just excuse me, prodigiously talented and thoughtful as Peel is created be involved at all. I don't know why I couldn't uh, um, say anything. So, this person that said that obviously doesn't like uh, the episode replay. One of those guys, hope you guys enjoy it. Subscribe for more and bye. So, oh no, they don't like the whole series. Never mind, except for the one episode replay. Uh, peace out. Damn it. Peace out. <laughs>